Good afternoon, everyone. This is Luther B40. I'm just winding up the series, the, uh, the video series for the uh, the Yahoo uh, or uh, the uh, yet another uh, HHO flow meter. Um, basically, all this is just demonstrate going to be demonstrating how to use it. Um, basic, what I've got here is the output off of my uh, the system I'm using is hooked to a to a T and the input uh, the input to the flow meter itself is also take to hook to the T and the way to activate it is when it's run when your system is running you just you just push your hold your finger on this right when you push to at the same time push the go button and there's two different ways you can do it if you if you're if you're, you're good on your timing if you're good on your timing you, you put your finger on this and st start your stopwatch at the exact same time you can start at zero. Uh, if there's some sort of a issue, say for instance, you've got a you've got a couple of two hoses together, and it takes you a few seconds to get that ready, you can actually use the next markup. So you hook you hook it up, and then start running, and then you start your timer at the 100 mark instead of zero. Uh, you're still going to get the same relative position. So like if you need to do 500 milliliters, and you started at 100, you'd actually run it until you get to 600 milliliters. But uh, let me just do a quick demonstration assuming that this is going to work I want to fire this up I did one test run but it's always on cameras when the stuff acts up so let me see here let's give us uh, so it's not taking too long let's set it to uh, 15 amps and let's go to 16 amps all right that's close enough yeah. Why not? We'll just crank it up here. I just don't want to go all the way up to the max, that's all. Alright, so now i got my system running. It's cranking along. And there's gas coming out. If I was to just touch it, you can see that it's reacting as soon as I touch the button. So Now it's just a matter of, unfortunately, I'm going to have to have three hands here. So, I'm going to just hopefully you can see that. Start my stopwatch. I'm gonna reset that. I got my stopwatch started. Got my stopwatch running. Got my finger on that, and it's cranking it up. It's going away, going to town as good as it goes to town. Uh, this one at this rate probably does about three quarters of a liter in a minute. But we're not going to go that far. We're just going to start. We're going to go to 500, and then we just uh, double the time that we find. So I'm going to have to put you down again. Four, four and a half. Okay. And then push the stopwatch at 500, and then watch, and then just to, to release it, just release that, and then it just automatically resets all by itself. And it'll come all the way back down to zero without you even having to touch it. In theory, you should never have to get your hands wet again, but, you know, there's always going to be something wrong that happens. You have to mess with it. Anyways, that's basically uh, one of the ways I would suggest you try using it. Uh, let me see. 38.7 38 seconds, so... You know, that's about right. I have to do the math on that, but 38.07 30, seconds to do 500 milliliters. So, like I said, just to, I needed to wind up the uh, the Yahoo uh, flow meter series, and hopefully this should be the last one I need to do on it. Uh, anyways, uh, this is Luther P40 signing off. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Take care.